All right, this first question says that dt is equal to 60. That means from here to here is equal to 60. All right, and then from there, we're given measures for ds and measures for st. All right, I'm going to use some segment addition um, to figure out what the measure of this entire thing is. Um, and to solve for x and dst. All right, so to figure this out, first I'm going to add the two sections they originally gave me in the picture. And I'm going to set them equal to 60. Now I'm going to combine like terms. Add 20 and divide by 5. So x is equal to 60. So x is equal to 16. All right, now we need to figure out what ds is. ds is equal to 2x minus 8. We now know that x is 16, and 2 times 16 minus 8 is 24, so ds is equal to 24. And last, I'm going to figure out what dt is. dt is equal to 3x minus 12. I now know that x is equal to 16, and 3 times 16 minus 12 is going to give us 36. So dt equals 36. All right, on to the next problem. This one says BC bisects angle NBA. Bisect means it cuts it into two congruent segments. All right, so that means the measure of angle NBC is equal to the measure of angle CBA. All right, now I'm going to write in what I know from the picture. Angle NBC is equal to 3x minus 5, and the measure of angle CBA is equal to x plus 7. And then we solve. And we've got x, but we've got to continue to find the final answer. To figure out the, what the measure of angle NBA is, we're going to need to add those two angles together and that's what will give us the entire angle, angle NBA. All right, so I'm going to add them now. Combine like terms. Substitute and 4 times 6 plus 12 is 26. So the measure of angle NBA is 26. All right, the final question in the warm up slash POD states that B is the midpoint of AC. And we need to find AB, CB, and AC. All right, so midpoint means that B divides AC into two congruent segments. Congruent means their measures are equal. So to solve for X, which is what we're gonna have to do first, is uh, we're going to set these two segments equal to each other because congruent means equal. All right, then I'll substitute AB equals two X minus one, BC equals 3x minus 4, and then we can solve this little guy, and we will get that x is equal to 3, but we're not done. Now we need to figure out each of the individual measurements they asked us for. Let's start with AC. AC is equal to AB plus BC. I'm going to plug in what I know. 
I don't know what AC is yet, but I do know that AB is 2x minus 1 and BC is 3x minus 4. Now we'll combine like terms and let's substitute because we know now what x is equal to. And 5 times 3 minus 5 is 10, so that's what AC is equal to. Now I'm going to find CB. CB is equal to 3x minus 4. We need to plug in x and 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4 is going to give us 5. So that's what CB is equal to. And AB is equal to CB. So AB is equal to 5 as well.